What's up guys, it's CJ from SmartKTai.com. If you're a fan of movies and have an Android Honeycomb tablet, like the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 here, then you probably have the official IMDB application installed on your device. Of course, IMDB stands for Internet Movie Database, and it basically gives you access to a ton of information on just about any movie or TV show out there. So you can access show times, uh, ratings, and even view trailers. Now the problem with that is the previous version of IMDB for Android was basically just optimized for phones. If you tried to run uh, the same app on your large screen tablet, you could run it, but it wasn't such a fun experience because it didn't take advantage of fragments and it didn't take advantage of the larger screen real estate. Now, with the new version of IMDB for Android, it's optimized for Honeycomb, as you can see right here. So it's a much more uh, enjoyable experience. So we're going to take a look at it and see what's new. So as you can see, we're on movies right now. This is the main home page, I guess you could say. Up at the top, we have our featured movies. Let's go ahead and play the trailer. We can press that button right there, and it'll just play the trailer for us. So this is the new Harry Potter. He's after you, Mr. Potter. Let's see what that looks like. Let's go ahead and fast forward here. That are related to his past and related to him and who he is. If you could find them all, if you did destroy each other. Okay, so it looks like they talk about the movie here. Harry's already destroyed the diary. Pretty cool there. Of course, you can also tap on the thumbnail and it'll take you straight to the movie, but more on that in a bit. Moving down, here are the movies that are currently playing, and we can scroll horizontally, we can tap on the movie, and it'll take us right there as well. Moving on movie news so we have a bunch of news on movies we can tap on the story it'll pull it up in a separate window so pretty cool that it does that let's jump out of there let's go to TV so now here are the popular TV shows available right now we can scroll through them tap on them and take a look at the rating all the information over here if we go to celebrities we can do the same Notice that it says star meter, shows us all of our favorite celebrities. Here's Jennifer Aniston. Just like with the news, if you click on an object, it'll pull it up in a separate menu. See her filmography. Load that up. Very, very nice. Let's jump back. Gallery. Looks like we can swipe through pictures of Jennifer Aniston. So let's go to Showtimes. Actually, go back to Celebrities. It looks like there was a Born Today section as well. And then Showtimes. So here we have Showtimes. As you can see, it goes to Movies. And we have Showtimes. So we can set our date, location, and proximity. And then it will give us all the movies that are currently playing. We can tap on it, and then it will give us the movie theaters. Box office results gives us information on how much the movie is making. It's always good to see. Coming soon. So, movies coming up. Top 250 movies. The movie meter. So these are most viewed uh, titles on IMDb. Best picture winners. So if you want to watch a movie that you haven't seen yet and you want it to be really good, it's good to check out the best picture winners. And the bottom 100 films, those are always fun to laugh at. Look at that one. So let's go back to our main movies homepage. I'm just going to go ahead and click on one. Let's just go with Green Lantern. So here we have our rating. We can rate the movie ourselves. Watch the trailer. We already did that uh, with Harry Potter. But we'll do that again. Billions of years ago, a race of immortals harnessed the most powerful force in existence. 
fast forward. Alright, so that's the trailer feature. Then over here we can access show times, news, details, synopsis. We have commentary, trivia, quotes, goofs. And basically like our celebrity screen we can pull up cast information, gallery, very cool. So this was the new and improved IMDB application for Android which now includes support for honeycomb tablets. More importantly it's optimized for honeycomb so it takes advantage of all the features available to us on these large screen tablets. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.